Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. This is a co-sponsored, co-partnered uh, interview with Michelle Turner. Uh, Michelle Turner is a photographer based out of Maine and Pennsylvania. She's a wedding photographer. She's also a good friend of mine. Uh, and she is going to be speaking at Inspire Photo Retreats. And this is a an ongoing theme here where we are talking with other Inspire Photo Retreat speakers and just getting to know who they are, why they're interested in coming back to speak with us. And so, Michelle, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to see you. It's wonderful to see you. I know you've got plans of leaving uh, the country real soon. You're a destination wedding photographer and you're off to many number of places uh, in the next couple of days. Um, so let's keep this nice and short. I want to know, uh, I know you've, you've been to the Inspire Photo Retreats before. What is it that you feel like tugs at your heart and says, I got to go to Inspire? Well, one of the things I love about Inspire is that it's very uniquely placed in our industry. It's one of the only conferences out there that is so dependent upon community and the connections that you make within or during the the few days of the conference um, you know everybody is always in the same spot and they're hanging out and you're getting to know new people and you get to know the speakers and everybody is always there unlike some of the other conferences where the speakers come and go maybe people just come in for an hour or two it really is one of those situations where you you get to know the people that are there whether they're sitting next to you at dinner or whether they are um, you know sitting across from you at, at um, one of the talks that you go to it's really fantastic and it's one of the only ones out there that that uh, you can go to that's like that when you look back to the inspired uh, photo retreat conferences in the past that you've been to um, how many have you been to, first of all? Uh, this will be my second. Second one. So mm -hmm. the last one you were at, um, is it, was there a particular speaker or a particular attendee that sort of inspired you or, or, or said, hey, this is, this, is, this is a great conversation? What was it? What, what, can, can you pinpoint to one person or one specific event during the, the, your time there? It's really difficult to say because there were so many of them. I mean, what I took away from Inspire more than anything were the conversations that I had, uh, you know, at dinner or, you know, because each time um, we sat down to dinner, we'd be sitting with different people and which I thought was really wonderful, you know, so you couldn't just come and hang out with a small group of people that you maybe knew uh, the entire time. You were really encouraged to go and, and spend time with other people. So I'd say most of the time it was the dinner conversations or the conversations in the in the lounge area, um, you know, standing and talking to a vendor and, and chatting with the person next to you and realizing, oh my goodness, you do the same thing I do. Or maybe, um, you know, we, we like the same things about this venue or we have these same challenges. Uh, to me, you know, that's one of the most valuable parts about the conference. The speakers are wonderful um, and really give you everything that they possibly can. But beyond that, I think it's the, the small day-to-day -day conversations. Uh, you know, so I would really encourage anybody uh, to come to Inspire. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, one of the things you've, sp you've spoken in the past uh, is posing and lighting, and you've, mm -hmm. done, you've done such a fantastic job. I've seen you speak at uh, Mystic uh, seminars, and I know you've done some work here at Inspire as well. Um, if there's a takeaway for anybody coming to the next Inspire photo retreat, so just, just wants to chat with you about you know, their, their challenges, let's say, uh, what would be one or two things you'd say about posing people? Uh, that it doesn't have to be as difficult and as scary as you think it should be or you think it might be. That really you can um, come up with a few different prompts to work with any couple, uh, whether they're a couple that say, you know, we're very uncomfortable in front of the camera or a couple that, um, you know, is will really play to the camera. Um, and, and if you use a few different prompts um, that you know, work for anybody. You really, there's really no need to be worried about posing and lighting. You can make anybody look great in any situation. Uh, I, I know that posing causes an awful lot of anxiety for a lot of people. Um, so, you know, using these prompts and, and figuring out how to work with the people and maybe just having those prompts in the back of your head, you can get rid of all that anxiety that comes from the formal portrait session. Can you give me an example of a prompt? Sure. Absolutely. Um, 
one of the things that I like to do with my couples is, uh, you know, I'll certainly do the, the movement prompt, have them walk, um, have them hold hands. And of course, I always tell them at that point, you know, no deer in headlights. You're not going to be looking at me. I uh, don't interact with the camera at all. But at, at some point, it's also um, getting them to almost forget that you're there. So most of the time, I have them walk away from me first so that they're not worried about, oh, my goodness, there's that big camera that's pointed at me. What am I going to do about that? Um, so I have them walk away from me first. And then as they turn around and come back, if they look like they're getting nervous, I'll actually put my camera down or look like I'm looking down and not at them and start shooting from the hip instead. You know, I back button focus, so I'm already focus tracking them. They have absolutely no idea that I'm taking the photograph um, but if I'm looking like I'm looking down or looking for something or changing my lens um, all of a sudden you know you see the the shoulders start to relax mm -hmm. They let their guard down, right? Exactly. And getting them to, uh, you know, and I'll, just yelling out small different things like, uh, you know, hold hands or, you know, maybe take a half step away from each other and, and pull back into each other. Sorry, most of these come with visuals. <laughs> Absolutely. No problem. <laughs> so, uh, you know, basically just getting them to do that. Excellent. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, you know, the information you always impart is so useful, so timely, um, given that a lot of photographers are sort of jumping right into their wedding season right about now. I think that is going to be an inspiration in, in itself to, to say, hey, listen, we probably don't know this stuff until next January, but we'll definitely come and check out what, uh, what Michelle has to say. And you, know, you, you may be speaking about another topic altogether, but that's okay. They can still come and talk to you about this particular topic, which you absolutely yeah. kill, you know, so. Um, thank you. Yeah. And you know what? I love talking anything having to do with uh, posing or creating light. So, you know, if you want to come in and chat about the newest and greatest uh, new studio strobe or, or off-camera flash uh, system, I am more than happy to geek out with anybody that wants to talk about that <laughs> stuff with me. Lovely. Thanks again, Michelle. Thank Bye. you. Have a great day. Bye.